Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're brand new, welcome. I am super glad to have you here. My name is Jessica, also known as Chic Professor on Instagram, and I make videos on luxury goods, the pre-loved market, and workwear. I was tagged by the lovely Deborah of Draylux TV to do this tag titled the your favorite Louis Vuitton piece plus an item on your luxury wish list. So this tag was started by Bella D Designs and At Home with Kylie, and I will link all three of those channels down below. I decided to combine this tag with my current Louis Vuitton collection. I have had many, many Louis Vuitton items, um, all bought pre-loved at very good prices, <laughs> a lot of which have been vintage or have just not worked for me in my lifestyle, which I have come to figure out. And because I'm a reseller, it hasn't really been a problem. I have just resold those items and because I got them for great prices I either was able to break even or make some money which I could then use towards other purchases so all of that being said I decided to show you my current in sort of the middle of 2018 Louis Vuitton collection along with this tag there are two items I currently have in my house that I am not including in this video they were both in my recent vintage which bag you should buy vintage rather than new which video which i collabed with tabby violet on and i am not going to be talking about those because the first is my toiletry 28 case and i'm going to be selling that so both of these are vintage items i'm going to be selling that one i haven't used it and um i haven't been able to get the smell fully out of it i know that a lot of people can i just haven't really had the patience to do that and i just haven't been using it so if you're interested in that let me know and i will be listing it for sale quite soon. And then the other item is my Louis Vuitton key ball. That one is a key ball 50 in monogram. It's the bandolier style. And I like it a lot, except that I think I would prefer to have a non monogram version. So I do like the idea of having canvas. I think leather is great, uh, but it could be nice to have a canvas bag. So I do kind of want to get either the Damier Ben print or what I actually really love is the graphite print, the men's print, the gray and black, I think is really beautiful on luggage. So I'd like to get one of those eventually. I like the monogram, but I find that when I travel, and my husband definitely agrees with me, that uh, we kind of want to be inconspicuous and blend in, and I think monogram kind of screams luxury, so it's not necessarily what we're going for when we are traveling. So those two pieces are not going to be shown in here because they're not necessarily part of what I consider my collection right now. I likely will not sell my keep all until I buy another one and anything besides for the monogram is usually much more expensive. So it may take me a while to get up to that and so I may not be selling that one for a while. But it's not necessarily something I fully have in my collection and if you do want to see it, you can check it out in my other videos. So without further ado, the pieces that I am using in my collection, I will show you. I've got SLGs as well as bags. I actually, since it's your favorite piece and not your favorite bag, I am going to talk about my favorite piece, which is an SLG, but then I will also talk about bag in, a bag in order to sort of complete the tag portion of this video, and I will tag some lovely ladies at the end. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first piece I want to show you is my answer to the tag. It is my favorite LV piece. I absolutely love this SLG. It is the key clay in the Damier Ben print. It is the only luxury item I have ever bought retail. Everything else I have bought pre-loved or gotten some kind of discount on. I have bought some shoes from brands that I would consider contemporary, high-end contemporary like LK Bennett. But again, those have been on sale. So otherwise, all pre-loved and so this one is special I got it for an anniversary present and also for it was we were we bought it on a trip so it was to commemorate the trip and an anniversary present and I just adore it I use it all the time I think it's wonderful it fits my car keys it is slim and compact enough that it is much smaller than many others and so it fits in my mini bags really nicely but it's exactly the size that I need and I adore it so this one is the answer to the tag the next SLG I have in my collection is this cosmetic case. So another reason I don't necessarily need the large one is I hardly actually use this one. I have a few nylon Ferragamo ones that I think are really great um, and I prefer those most of the time. So this one just kind of sits on my vanity and looks pretty. I am planning on using it at some point. I just haven't really used it yet so we will see but I think this is just a beautiful piece and I love that it's wipeable, that wipeable interior inside. I like that it's red. I think that that's really nice. So it's a beautiful, beautiful piece and hopefully I will get some more use out of it as 
you know, the months go by. <laughs> The next piece is kind of a transition because although it's an SLG, I also use it as a bag. I would say only about 30% of the time do I use it as an SLG. And really just for traveling, I have a monogram strap that I keep inside that I use to use this pochette accessoire. I didn't really say what it was. Pochette accessoire as a bag. I think it's the best crossbody. I just adore it. So love this and um, but it is going to be a transition into the bags because i definitely use it as a bag more often since i seem to be going in size order i figured i may as well continue this is the alma bb in the epi leather and it is not the rose ballerine print it is a special edition color and i can't exactly remember the name of it but i will link the video i have on this bag down below and it's listed in the description there i will actually have all my bags have a video so i will link all of those down below and I just adore it. I think the color is beautiful. I think it's wonderful. The reason that this one isn't counting as my favorite bag is because it's a recent purchase. So I feel like my favorite is something that I use over and over again and that I absolutely love having in my collection and can't really imagine my collection without. And since I went a long time without having this one, it's a little harder to say it, but I'm really pleased with it and I'm loving it so far and I think it will get a ton of use this spring and summer especially. So I am really pleased with this bag. And again, you'll see more details about it in the video if you want to um, know anything further about it. This next bag, which is the Neverfull in the Damier Ben print in the MM size, I think is wonderful. Again, it's not gonna be a favorite because it is new. It is the newest bag in my collection. And I will link that video down below because I talked about the pros and cons. And if you probably, if you're like me, you debated on the Neverfull for quite a while. And so it's, it's nice to kind of see, I think, why someone has chosen to get it. But what's also great is a lot of people wrote comments about whether they love theirs or what's stopping them from buying it. And so it can be educational, I think, to look through the comments of that video as well. So I'll link that down below. I'm really liking it so far. I find the handles really comfortable, but uh, I'll just, you can check out that video for more detail. So the last bag in my current collection, not including that key ball, is the Louis Vuitton Brea in the Epi leather, not the electric Epi, just the regular Epi in the GM size and it's in black. This was my primary black bag before I got my Philip Lim Pashley and I used it pretty much all winter long and I definitely used it in the fall too. I bought it last fall and it's gotten a ton of wear. I really do like it. It is not the perfect work bag because I think it just needs to be a tiny bit taller in order to fit folders and things more easily. I find the zipper can be difficult to use, but again, I have a video about it so you can see down below and I just I really do like it a lot I think it's beautiful I love the sort of Alma-esque look that's a little more fresh and a little more young and feminine but also kind of edgy with the hardware I just think it's a beautiful bag so this one would win if the tag was your favorite bag it would be this one currently but my favorite piece is still that key clay I just absolutely adore that so that is that so the last part of the video is your sort of wish list luxury item and if I'm talking like all time forever wish list, I think that I would like to have a Kelly, an Hermes Kelly. I love Grace Kelly. I think that bag is beautiful. And it is, if you're going to be a handbag collector, I mean, the Kelly and the Birkin are the top. And so for me, I'm less of a Birkin girl. I'm definitely more of a Kelly lover. I don't really feel the need to have that in my life right now. I find it to be I don't really have the occasions to take it. I wouldn't really want to use it as an everyday work bag. And I just don't live in a place where there's like a lot of luxury and I feel the need to dress up or even the want to do so. So that's like a very, very future luxury bag. But if you're going to talk about all time, I guess it'd be that. The bag that's a wish list item because I don't know how realistic it is that is definitely more possible in my collection right now would be an updated Chanel mini. And I've talked about this in my wishlist video, so I will link that down below as well. I would really like one in, I think, caviar leather with the puffed quilting. Currently, I have a vintage mini and it's kind of the flat quilting, and so I think it would be nice to have the upgraded version of that. Pre-love, they're going for like $4,000, and I'm just not at all willing to spend that or have any real want to spend that. I like my mini. I'd like to upgrade it. It's, again, a very much a wish list item. I don't need to, so we'll see about that. But otherwise, I've really gotten most of the things on my wish list, and so I'm feeling pretty content. I am still looking for a red bag, but there's not anything specific that I'm lusting after for that. So those are my answers to the tag, and I'd like to tag a few lovely ladies. 
So the people I am tagging, some of them love Louis Vuitton and have a ton of items and it'll be a little difficult for them to choose, though I think I could name what each of them would pick, but you know, we'll see if I'm right, I guess. But then a couple people only have a few things and one person may only have one. And so at least you can answer this tag for that. And I would love to see what your wish list item would be. So the people that I am tagging are Grace from Grace and Her Handbag, Catherine from KW Shops, Dita from The Style Synonym, Tabby from Tabby Violet, Angelique from Angelique Eva, and Mel from Mel Soldera. So I would love to see your answers to the tag, and if there is anyone else who wants to do it, I'd love for you to do it. I know Amy Elizabeth and Amy Ann were already tagged, and there's probably been a few other people as well. So let's keep it going. I would love to see your answers, and I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe, and comment down below and tell me what your favorite piece is, especially if you don't have a channel and you aren't, fil aren't filming the tag, please let me know what your favorite Louis Vuitton piece is, or maybe if you don't have any, what would be your wish list item. Thank you again to Deb from Draylux TV for tagging me, and I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I will see you in a future video. Bye!